In this video, we are going to use GIS, Geographic Information System, to discover the relationship between land use and stream health. Start by clicking on the map to launch the application. You can see the base map. A base map provides background and visual context for the data in the map. Change the appearance of the base map to light gray canvas. Here are the layers. A layer is a data set that contains similar features. This one contains surface water features. Streams is already turned on. Streams are marked by blue lines on the map. For this example, we are going to locate the watersheds of a Bridging the Watershed Park Manassas. Type Manassas National Battlefield Park into the search bar. When you do this activity on your own, Type your own address to identify your watersheds. Now we have the location of the park marked on the map. You can zoom in or out using the plus and minus signs or your mouse. Now let's identify the watersheds. Watersheds are extremely important because they provide us with our drinking water supply. We need to know our watersheds because pollution anywhere within the watershed has the potential to affect all the water bodies downstream. Click on Hydrologic Units. The hydrologic units are watersheds nested within each other. They go from the smallest geographic area, sub-watersheds, to the largest geographic area, regions. Let's start at the local level and work our way up. The closest stream to our location is Young's Branch. I'm going to write Young's Branch down and the name of each subsequent stream that I identify. When it rains at this point, any stormwater that is not absorbed into the ground goes into Young's Branch. If I zoom out, I can see a purple border appear. This outline represents the Middle Bull Run watershed. Young's Branch and all of the tributaries within this boundary drain into the middle part of the Bull Run River. If I zoom out, I can see I am in the Bull Run watershed. This means the middle Bull Run drains into the lower Bull Run. If I zoom out further, I can see the Bull Run River drains into the Occoquan River. If I zoom out once more, I can see that the Occoquan River drains into the Potomac River. And finally, the Potomac River drains into the Chesapeake Bay. Now that we have identified our watersheds, we will identify the water quality of these rivers and see how the land is used within each watershed. It's important to know how the land is used because an increase in impervious surfaces can affect stream health. Pollutants that accumulate on impervious surfaces can be washed into streams. Zoom in on our park location. Turn off hydrologic units. Turn on impaired waters. Impaired waters are polluted waterways. They are marked by red symbols and lines. Go to streams. Click on the three dots to the right of streams and click on view and attribute table. The attribute table is at the bottom of your screen and contains information about all the streams in this layer to isolate and look at Young's Branch specifically. Click on Options and then Filter. Using GNIS name, type in Young's Branch. Young's Branch has now been filtered out and is the only stream displayed on your map. If you click on the name in the attribute table, it will go to that location on the map. Click on Flow Direction, and now you can locate the mouth of Young's Branch where it empties into the Bull Run River. Click on Young's Branch at its mouth, and then click on Watershed Report. Scroll to the bottom of the page, and you can see the size of the watershed and how the land is used. Record this information on your data sheet. Take note if there are any impaired water sections on Young's Branch. Now I will repeat this process for the Bull Run River, Occoquan River, and Potomac River, and put the information for each on my datasheet. 